Hey guys, this is Jonathan from Binary Atlas, where we try to be your guide to all things technology that makes your life better. We are focusing on EVs uh, right now, and I wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about the EV tax credit. So if you enjoy the video, please give a like, thumbs up, uh, subscribe to the channel. That would be awesome. Also, don't forget to hit the bell icon to make sure that when we post new content, you guys get to see it. You'll know that it's there. Uh, so let's get right into it. So EV tax credit. I wanted to talk to you guys about the EV tax credit because a lot of people are getting it wrong. I have seen it all over Reddit. I have seen it all over other YouTubers videos from manufacturers websites, from your dealers telling you this stuff. The premise is you buy a brand new vehicle, you get a tax credit and it reduces the cost of the vehicle. It does not. Okay. So Let's go through a scenario. You buy right now F-150 Lightning, really popular. So you buy an F-150 Lightning for $69,000. But there's a $7,500 tax credit, right? They'll tell you, oh, well, no, no, it's not that expensive. You'll get the tax credit. It'll be like a $61,000 car. That is incorrect. Okay, so the tax credit reduces your taxable income, your tax liability, right? I'm going to give you a brief explanation of what that is, but this is something you need to discuss with your accountant, okay? If I owe $1,000 at the end of the year and I have a $7,500 tax credit, that comes out of that, which leaves me $6,500, and I owe nothing to the government. But you do not get that $6,500 that's left as a rebate, and you do not get to roll it over to next year's taxes in order to claim it, the rest of it then, okay? And it does not, absolutely does not reduce the cost of your vehicle, all right? So if you're financing $69,000 in your vehicle today, that is what you're financing, and you need to be prepared to make that payment. Now, like I said earlier, you need to talk to your accountant, right? I'm not saying the EV tax credit is a bad thing. It can be a good thing, right? It depends on your tax liability. But if you don't owe anything on taxes, the tax credit will do absolutely nothing for you. And you're going to be stuck with the full price of that car. And I hate it when dealers and other YouTubers are making videos and telling you guys that the car is cheaper because of that tax credit. It is not, okay? So do your own research and make sure that you get the most out of it that you can. Now, if you're a tax person, then down below in the comments, let me know your thoughts on it. I went and talked to an accountant about this. I've actually applied for a tax credit when I put my solar system in, so I know how the tax credit works. Uh, we still had to pay the full price for our solar system. It just helped us out of tax time, right? Now, I have heard rumors that in 2024, there's going to be a change in the Inflation Reduction Act, which, by the way, I'm trying to read through, but it is a giant document and hard to understand. When I really understand more about that document, I'll post another video just strictly talking about the Inflation Reduction Act. But I have heard that in 2024, the dealers will be able to take that $7,500 tax credit instead of you and pass on the savings onto the price of the vehicle. However, if you can't get $7,500 cash out of it, neither can the dealer. So I don't really understand how that's going to affect the price. Is it going to be that the dealer gets the $7,500 tax credit and he knocks $1,000 off the price of the car? I don't know. Uh, we'll see how that works out. I personally have made a reservation for the Silverado EV, and that's not coming out until summer 2024. So it'll be in the time frame where this should apply. I'll read up on the Tax Reduction Act and see if I can find something on that and post another video. Uh, but until then, this has been Jonathan. I appreciate you coming out to the Binary Atlas channel, and I hope you guys come back. Please make sure to leave a comment, especially if there is something you would like me to talk more about or review or give you more information on. I would love to do that. Until then, I will see you guys next time.